Okay, so to get on Amateur TV, um, first thing we've got is a video camera, obviously. Video camera right here, which is feeding here. Cable, which goes into the back of this computer. Inside this computer is a video capture card made by the company Hapage. And uh, that card also has a, a TV tuner in it. We don't use the TV tuner, we just use the normal video inputs on the back of the capture card. And that card is actually a PVR, turns your computer into a video recorder. So the idea is we open that software, I can get it all to focus and all that. So we open the WinTV software. And what we do, there's my camera, so you can see that there now. What we do is we actually record the vision from my camera. So it's now started recording it to C-My Videos and then in that folder. What we do now is we turn on the power amp that's the power amplifier there. We turn on the digi light, which is this unit here. The digi light, as the sign says, is a DVBS exciter. So what happens is we're recording the vision from the camera straight onto the hard drive. I'm going to open a little DOS application in a second. What that will do is as soon as that vision is recorded, it will spit it out as MPEG-2 because that's what the computer's doing. It's converting all that video card. It's actually converting that video into MPEG-2, which is what normal DVB-T television has, not the new HD MPEG-4, but MPEG-2. It then spits that MPEG-2 out the back of the computer's USB port and into this thing. It then takes that MPEG-2, modulates it, turns it into a radio signal, a DVB-S standard radio signal. We then take the output of this, feed it into here, amplify it, and out the antenna. So, the camera's video is coming in, it's being turned into MPEG-2 by the video card in here, recorded onto the hard drive, and as soon as I open this application here, it will instantly start playing that video out into this box by USB, uh, and this, has a, uh, this turns it into a DVB-S signal, um, with a little preamp in there as well, spits it out of here, feeds it into here, amplifier, and out. And there's the frequency, it's on 1.2 gig, 1.255. So what, what we're gonna do is actually transmit, that's the frequency that VK3RTV in Melbourne, which is the repeater on top of Mount Dandenong, that we're actually listening to here. As soon as I tell the uh, computer to spit uh, the MPEG-2, as it's recorded, out its USB port and into the DigiLight, it will go. It will uh, transmit that signal to Mount Dandenong and it will actually activate the repeater. So if I can do this... Takes a couple of seconds. There you go, we're on the air. Uh, digital amateur TV. There is audio, I've just unplugged the audio so we don't get feedback. But um, yeah, so if I zoom in the camera, so if I wave here, you'll see that there. There's the delay. If I shut it down, if we go up here and we stop that software from spitting out the... Um, here is the software, I'll show you. You can see it's, it says up there on the left, recording, recordings are stored at, reading from camera, and there's the MPEG file. It's MPEG2, spitting it into this, which then puts it on air live. So you can see there's not very much delay in it, there's only couple of seconds by the time it sends it and gets it back from Mount Dandenong. There's me on the repeater. Cool. Digital amateur TV.